Hey everyone, welcome to Miami Life and Fitness. We're gonna talk about a very interesting androgenic compound today. It's a very monster compound. It's the god, or it's the Superman of the steroids. What is it? Is it Tren? Is it Deca? Is it Halotestin? Is it Anadra? What is it? Stay tuned and find out. All right, everyone. So again, I want to give thanks to everybody who's giving me a super thanks. Thank you so much for your love and support. If you need to contact me for training plans, nutrition plans, or coaching, email me at miamilifeandfitness at gmail.com or book your consultation directly with me on my website, which is www.miamilifeandfitness at gmail.com. I'm pretty flexible, so pick a time. This is only for people that are serious. I want to make a change in their life. I want to better their health and just be sexier. If you're not serious and you don't want to be sexy, don't email me and don't set up a consultation. So what is the Superman steroid. A lot of people think that Tren is the god, but who's the real god? So this is one of my favorite androgenic compounds, and it also comes from the 19 Nor family. Who comes from the 19 Nor family? Well, we have Deca, we have MPP, which is obviously my favorite oil. We also have Tren, and then we have Ment, which is methyl nandrolone testosterone, also known as Trustalone. What is Trustalone? What does it come from, and how was it made popular? And what was its intended use? It's intended use and it became popular in the 1990s. It was formed way before that, but it was really popular in the 90s and it was used as a male contraceptive. Basically, it, it didn't stop your test production, so it didn't give you testicular atrophy. You were still producing testosterone, but it actually, you were basically shooting blanks. In addition to being a male contraceptive for its intended use, it was also used for people that had low libido, low sex drive, and ED, which is erectile, dysfunction. So this is something that is super, super important. And there's so many reasons why I really love trust alone and why it just can't be compared to Tren. Now I know Tren is very powerful and everybody loves Tren because it cuts you up and it rips you up and it creates tons of new fibers and it's great for cutting. But let's talk about this trust alone. So when we look at trust alone on the rating scale, let's talk about numbers. And everything is based off of uh, testosterone, which is 100 and 100 on the androgenic and on the anabolic scale. When you look at the numbers on trend, it's 500 and 500. So 500 anabolic and 500 androgenic. But let's talk about the numbers on trust alone. The, the anabolic rating or the androgenic rating is 650 on trust alone, and the anabolic rating is 2300. So compare that to trend, which they say is four times stronger than testosterone, at 650 and 2300 on the anabolic side. So it is very, very powerful. Now with trend, it is mandatory that you use testosterone. Why? Because when you use trend ace, especially when you stop your cycle and you stop using it, you will basically shut the F down and you will be like, and you will fall to the floor. <laughs> With trust alone, it's not mandatory that you use testosterone, but I always include it in a cycle because it is best to use testosterone always as your base, but it's not 100% necessary and mandatory like it is with Tren. Now we're gonna start with the mini god first because we're gonna talk about the benefits and the side effects of Tren, AKA Trenbolone. Now we all know that Tren was originally made for, well, cows or humans or humans and cows, but it was first introduced as Parabolin and then the Finiplex for the cows, obviously to increase muscle size so you can produce more meat. And then of course it started being consumed by human use and bodybuilders and the fitness world, etc. So everybody knows Tren and the worst side effects that are immediate that everybody knows about and that everybody hates is gonna be your Tren cough, um, your hallucinations while you're sleeping, very vivid dreams, insomnias, night sweats, and it's gonna give you a bad temper, you wanna fight, you wanna kill people, you're very short. Um, it, it, it really messes with your head. It, it does something to you mentally and it really messes with your head. Things that don't happen with trust alone. All right, so some of the other nasty side effects of what happens internally, which start progressing over time that people will see later, is that it will shut down your natural test production. It also kills the free testosterone and it kills your progesterone. Not only that, but it increases your lactating hormones. Lactating hormones. <laughs> So these are some of the nasty side effects with trend. And on top of that, the recovery is much longer, which at the end of the video, stay tuned to the end, we're gonna talk about recovery times and compare it with Trustalone. Now, let's talk about Trustalone. You don't have the cough, you will sweat and you will be hot, but it doesn't give you lucid dreams, you're not gonna give you, it's not gonna give you uh, the, those crazy dreams, it's not gonna affect your sleep, it's not gonna affect your mental, it doesn't give you the cough, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't give you that aggression where you wanna kill people. It does not shut down your natural testosterone production 
it increases your free testosterone and increases your progesterone and it does not increase or activate your lactating hormones so there's no so again you will have the testosterone and you will not have testicular atrophy as long as your signals are getting sent so these are some of the benefits and all of the basically the things that you are not getting the nasty sides that you get with trend now let's talk about doses so as we know with trend people still abuse it and go way overboard with trend because I've heard people taking four, five, six, seven, eight hundred milligrams of trend, which is crazy. I don't think people should take more than 200 milligrams of trend. Now, the trust, the trust alone doses, could, it could be anywhere from 100 to 300. 300 being your top dose, but again, I don't recommend that unless you're somebody in the bodybuilding open class and you actually need it. But if you're just a regular dude who just wants to get fit and ripped and burn extra calories, this is not what you need. In reality, the perfect dose for me, for a man, is 50 milligrams every other day so you're looking at about 150 a week since it's acetate you want to inject every four every 48 hours so 50 50 50 totally 150 a week now to keep everything and your cycle going properly and running smoothly you do have to have a DCT in place which is your during cycle therapy what is during cycle these are all the guys in the background like when you're filming a movie you got all the cool and sexy actors but who's in the background your producers your directors nobody sees those guys well you need your provirin you need your HC so your signals don't get crossed and you also need an AI which is an aromatized inhibitor so you can use a Rimidex, Letro or Aromacin whichever is best for you. It's mandatory you have a DCT in place. If you don't want to spend the money on it then don't do the trust alone. If you don't want to spend money or you don't think you need or you think you're Superman it's not going to happen to you, you don't, don't do it and don't spend the money on taking trend or trust alone because you're going to aromatize and it oh and by the way it does aromatize very fast because it increases your testosterone level so much this is the one that really knocks down your hair the fastest men will have hair loss the fastest and it's also the only one that does not work with finasteride does not work with finasteride so even though that the HTC blocks the DHT and even though the trust alone is not a DHT it's still going to knock down your hair because obviously it is so much more powerful than testosterone but it doesn't work with finasteride so the cycles really should be short, let's say 12 weeks, and then switch to something else. Okay, so now for the end of the video, we're gonna talk about recovery. What is so important about recovery is when a man gets off a cycle, how he basically jumps back and restores all of his hormones. First of all, if you were doing the cycle properly and doing a complete cycle and you had a DCT in place, you should be technically okay and you should have a, a short PCT and recovery period. Now let's compare a trend recovery to a trustalone recovery. The really great thing and a cool benefit about, and just remarkable about trustalone, is a recovery time is half the time as trend. A trend recovery can be anywhere from four to six months, 16 to 20 weeks. When you're looking at a trust alone recovery, it could be anywhere from two to three months, eight to 12 weeks. Why? Because it doesn't knock you down, especially if you're using trend. Again, the testosterone is mandatory. If you're not using testosterone men and you get off trend, you will be shut down and on the floor. It, it will turn you into a dead zombie. Okay, the recovery from trend is much more is much more uh, extensive, and you're gonna spend months and months recovering. So it is that's that's another basically another negative for me. The trust alone is half the time recovery. It's not gonna knock you down, and that's because it does not shut down your free testosterone. So for the weeks after you finish your cycle, you still have your free testosterone floating, so you're not gonna feel like shit, which is what trend does to you, and which is why when most men get off it, they feel like shit. All right guys, so you make your pick. If you haven't tried Trust Alone and you're a big fan of Trend, then I would say give Trust Alone a try. And if you need help with doses and to put that cycle together, email me and book a consultation with me or go to my website so that I can cycle you right and we can put a DCT in place so that you can cycle properly. Everyone, like, share, comment, subscribe, watch one of these two videos. If you love my video and you found value in my video, then go ahead and hit the big heart, the super thanks. And again, thank you so much for everybody for showing your love and support. Share the videos. Guys, share the video with all your dudes and your bros in the gym because trust alone is the God.